You know, as we ran into this hospital today, you don't know what to expect. And there were hundreds of police officers running down the street, dropping their cars on the corner, running to this hospital. They were running to this hospital because they just carried two brothers out of a, out of a hallway into this hospital to try to save their lives. Hundreds and hundreds of police officers are standing here today because their hearts tell them they have to be here because they feel like they're alone. We got to end that here today. Our hearts are broken. We're in shock. Our knees are buckling. And we're angry because we've been here before. We're angry because we saw it coming. We're angry because we said it was going to happen and it happened again. So tonight, you know, these police officers aren't going to sleep. They're going to be out in the street. They're going to do what they need to do. The ones that go home are going to put their heads on their pillow and they're not going to sleep. And they're going to cry. Well, it's time the city cried with us, and we know they are. But you know what? We stand shoulder to shoulder by the tens of thousands to, to, to shoulder our brother. We carried our brother here. We'll shoulder him out this evening. We'll stand in the hallway and we'll pray for a family that's hoping their son, their husband, they come home. But it can't be just us. Yes, we will stand patch to patch and bury our brother. We will bow our heads in sadness. But we need you too. The streets can't just be full of New York City police officers at this funeral. The public has to come. The public has to send a message to anyone that dares to harm a New York City police officer. Not here, not now, not today, not to us. We're asking, we're humbly asking you to come out and help us. Then when this is over, Yes, a conversation, a real conversation. Not like our heads are on backwards and we don't know what's going on. We need help. They need help. We need help. It's time to do it now. We're all looking to do it. Give us that help so we can help stop babies from being shot. Stop the violence. The guns that are coming in will help us take them out of their belts so they never dare pull it again. You know what I'm saying? We all know what we need. It's right in front of us. So now we're going to unite. And we're going to carry a New York City police officer out of this hospital, and we're going to salute the best we can. We're going to do the best we can, and we're going to line the church in front of that, that, that church, synagogue, mosque, and do the best we can. But after that conversation, that's real. Laws that are real. Support that's real, not press conferences. Let's get voting and give us what we need.